Welcome to the 14th episode in the Earth and Space Science 9 series of the Knowledge Catalog. This session is divided into the following parts, the first part being activity number 3, which is entitled Apparent Movement of the Stars Through the Night. And then the second, acti- the second part is a discussion about the sun's movement in the sky and, you know, how uh, we used that in telling time. And then, uh, for the last part, uh, we'll be talking about Polaris, the northern star. And so, for this session, we only have one learning competency. Learning competency number nine, which is observed that the position of a constellation changes over a night. Okay, so if you want to follow through with your learner's module, you can open it in unit three, module three, pages 11 to 14. Let's begin. Okay, so for activity number three, apparent movement of the stars through the night, um, you need to do this later or siguro uh, basta kapag 7 p.m. Na, okay, that is one thing I would like you to know about this. Okay, so the objective of this activity kasi is for you to be able to describe the apparent motion of stars at night. So, kailangan uh, gawin nyo to gabi. <laughs> okay, so you have the following materials, paper and pencil or your science notebook if you are one of my students currently. All right, so what you need to do is at 7 p.m., you have to locate a constellation that you recognize in the sky. Uh, remember, in the previous session, you were asked to identify one constellation so you can use that constellation in this activity. So in the clear night sky, you have to look at the stars at exactly the following times. Uh, at exactly 7 p.m., you have to observe the location of that star that you selected. Say, for instance, the Little Dipper. Um, locate uh, the uh, Little Dipper at 7 p.m. And then you just have to go back after an hour, which is around 8 p.m. And then uh, you can go back at around 9 p.m. And uh, the original version of this activity is actually asking you to go back 10 p.m. and 11 p.m. But if you're not up that early, tsaka medyo delikad na rin lumabas, at mag-gaze sa, ano, sa stars, okay lang yan. Okay, so, but if you want to, if you're still up by 10 p.m. or 11 p.m., you can uh, locate uh, the Little Dipper okay, during those hours. Okay, so, uh, after that, you have to answer the following guide question. So, you can do this uh, the morning, okay, after that night. So, for the first question, compare the position of the stars in the sky. So, what do you notice? Question number two, are the stars visible at 7 p.m.? Are the stars visible at 7 p.m., still visible at 9 p.m. in their original position? So, why is that so? Okay, so what it's basically asking you is, uh, pareho ba yung position ng mga cons- ng constellation ng 7 p.m. at ng 9 p.m.? And if you extend this activity until 10 or 11 p.m., uh, is that constellation's position at 7 p.m. the same as its uh, position during 10 or 11 p.m.? What do you think is the reason why that is so? Question number three. How do stars move? Uh, you can describe the direction. Okay, pwedeng kahit anong direction yan. Pero uh, I have a suggestion later, and you will know about you. You will know about it when we talk about the answers. Okay, but one clue is you have to apply what you know about the sun. Okay, where does it uh, rise and where, where does it set? Okay, okay, and then you have to describe the movement of the stars in the night sky. Question number four. This I think is the last question for this activity. Question number four is, how is the motion of stars similar to the motion of the sun? I gave you a clue about this already, so I hope you will get it. Okay, let us now head towards the answers to these questions. For the first question, question number one, the answer is the constellations move from the right to left or from east to west, okay? At the, as the night deepens. So as the night deepens, uh, they are going farther from the east and closer to the west. Question number two, the correct answer is no, because they move. Okay, that is always the case. The stars that are visible at 7 p.m. in one position 
they tend to move by 9 p.m. Although there is an exemption, and we will be talking about that. One little exemption later in this session. Next is question number three. The answer is stars seem to move from east to west, the way the sun also does during the day. And then last question, question number four. Like the sun, the stars move from east to west during the course of the day for the sun and night for the stars. How well did he do? Okay, I would like to record your score in the upper right-hand corner of your sheets of paper. Okay, do that. Okay, you have four points to count, so I hope that you did get four points. Okay, that's great. Let's now continue to the next part of this session, which is the sun's movement in the sky and telling time. Okay, it's obvious. In this um, illustration, what you see here is uh, again, so east and then south right here and then west. And then around, the, I mean, right here, there are circles. Yeah, and then time. You notice the, you know, do you notice the uh, shadow of this pole right here? And then do you notice that uh, this uh, number, number 11, is colored yellow and that it has 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then it, 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 it goes back to 1. Okay, so um, what does it imply, Kayana? So by observing the sun's movement and position in the sky, we can tell what time of the day is. When the sun is completely overhead, when the sun is completely overhead, that means it's already 12 p.m. Tapos kapag medyo uh, overhead ka, so um, malapit siya dito sa east, uh, that is around 11 p.m. And then kapag naman ang lawa, over, halos over, eh, overhead, pero nasa may bandang west naman siya, and the shadow is like pointing towards east, then it must uh, be around 1 p.m. already. When it seems to rise in the east, it is morning. And uh, when it is directly above, above us, you call that noon, that time as noon. And then when it seems to move towards the west, we call that afternoon. So around 5 p.m. or 6 p.m., depending kung anong time of the year and wherever you are in the globe, around 5 p.m. usually, nandiyan na banda yung sun. It's medyo, medyo dusk na rin na. At night naman, stars are, are also used to tell time. Sabawa, if the Little Dipper is, has risen and in this uh, part at around uh, so we are having 7 or 6 p.m. Then uh, siguro by the time na nandito siya, it's around 12 midnight already. Okay, if it, 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 it indeed started to rise from the east at around 7, 7 p.m. Right, to harness that, uh, we, have been, we have been using so many versions of the sundial. Different civilizations have different versions of the sundial. Pero there are no common uses. It's just really to tell us time. Okay, ayun. Ayun. So uh, that is it for the uh, for the for this part, the discussion on the sun's movement and how we use that to tell time. Now we move to a discussion about Polaris. Uh, Polaris is uh, commonly known as the Northern Star or the North Star, and it is the brightest star in the constellation Ursa Minor or the Little Dipper or the Little Bear. Okay, it is very close to the North Celestial Pole of planet Earth, making it the current Northern Pole Star. That is actually current Northern Pole Star because there is a, a possibility for that to change. Uh, because it lies nearly in a, in a direct line with the axis of the Earth's rotation above the North Pole, Polaris stands almost motionless in the sky. Okay, so... Lahat na ng mga stars around uh, or malapit sa, uh, no, sa Polaris, nagsipag-move na lahat sila. And this is Star Trail. Okay, again, this is called the Star Trail. Pero si Polaris, andyan lang siya. Steady lang siya dyan. Uh, yeah. It stands motionless in the sky. And all the stars in the, in the northern sky, they all appear to rotate around it. Yeah, so, uh, ay, wait, di ko na ilagay yun, ay, check. Pero, you know that, that means, yeah, it, we're done with this session. So, you were, uh, we were through doing an activity, activity number three, apparent movement of the stars through the night. And then the second part is a discussion on the sun's movement in the sky 
and how we use that to tell time. And then the last part is a discussion on Polaris. Remember that uh, we were uh, able to finish the following, uh, we were able to finish this session. That is a uh, pattern after the ninth learning competency, which is observed that the position of constellations, they change overnight. Pero yung mga composition ng mga constellations na yun, uh, yung mga stars that makes them up, uh, they don't change. Okay? Ayan. So uh, we're done. This is Sir CJ, and I hope that I will be seeing you in the next episode in this series, Earth and Space Science 9 of the Knowledge Catalog. Have a good day.